Hello guys, welcome back to another video of our scissor chats. And today we're gonna be talking about why Ertl is such a great Thomas merchandise brand. First, we'll start off with the details. So the details don't look that bad. For a toy that came out in nineteen eighties. This doesn't look bad. The faces are nice on each. The stickers are nice. I mean, they just look great. These trains are in good condition for what it usually is. Because the Ertl trains you find in flea markets are usually banged up some don't even have faces because some are paper faced oh yeah did I forget about the paper face engines well I didn't cause I got paper face Henry that's my only paper face engine yeah and I got Gordon as well Gordon Looks good, and Henry's just, eh. And I sincerely like Paperface, but I don't think that people should hate Paperface so much. But, meh. Now, we've gone on to this part of the video. This part is where we start getting into things that go with the engines. Well, I'm going to start with Toby. Actually, I, this is the only one I have with collectible things. Yeah, see Toby here? Yeah. It's Henrietta. Now, if you're wondering where I got these, I got th these trains at the flea market. And now at flea markets, you're like, they're going to treat them awfully. Well, you should go into an antique store. Gosh, you just see how they treat those things. But anyway. Toby looks nice. Yeah. Yeah, it looks fully detailed. That's another part I like about Ertl. They're basically fully detailed. And Henrietta. Yeah. Yeah. That looks great. This engine is... These things go together very well. Because, well, they're engines. And that's what I like. like you basically want to get these because the, you could have this with this. Those two go very well because Toby pulls Henrietta. And now I'm going to get on to some other things. The metallic engines. Well, this is the only metallic one I have. But these are also great for collectibles. Because look at this blue livery. It look, it's in like basically in perfect condition. Literally, no spots look like they've been damaged. I could sell this on eBay for like, mm, I don't know, around ten something dollars, or I could sell it for twenty. Be like twenty is overpriced. Well, it's not damaged. I mean, look at the sticker; it's still on. A lot of people sell metallic engines, and they have uh, rough stickers where they are just starting to fall off. So this would be a great deal if I sold this for like 10 or 20. Now, I have one narrow gauge engine, and that engine is... Reneas. Why Reneas? Well... I think Reneas is more interesting out of the two 
Scarloli engines. Scarloli and Reneas. The first original two. And it, it, this one seems more interesting. I mean, come on. Who could turn this down? Look, he has fine wheels. He has... Yeah, look. It looks good. Now, we're going to go on to what I think is bad about Urkel. Uh, I will be with, of course, the stickers. The stickers peel away easily. And that's not a joke. They do. They peel away easily. And so basically, a child could grab their hands on it and it basically, you know, just stick away. Peel away. And the other thing is this. They're like, huh? Oh, what's the problem with it? Well, the problem with that is you, it could break easily. I mean, it could do with Tom's Adventures, but I like this system, but it could still break easily. So, basically, what I'm saying is if you drop this from, if you drop this onto the road accidentally, this and this could break. And I w would not want that to happen. So you have to take extra care of them. And oh, yeah, the paper paste engines. I love this Henry, but I could possibly peel off his face. That's another problem. The paper paste engines, you could easily peel off their faces. Because, like I told you earlier, at the antique stores and flea markets, most of the time they get banged up. But this one is very lucky to not get banged up. Because this Henry with a paper face could have just peeled off. His face could have peeled off. So... I'm glad that it's that it's that it's face is still on. Now we're gonna move on to Percy. Well you're like, what's wrong with Percy? Well, one, there's a peeling sticker, but you're like put it back on with glue. Yeah, but if you don't have that in your house, do you know what's gonna happen? It's gonna peel off. So with Percy in its condition right now, I think it's fine. But we don't want the whole entire thing peeling off, so and now we're going to get on to the temper engines. Well, mainly Gordon. Because Gordon, well, see, if you try to play with him on, like, any tracks, he can't really turn that well. Neither can the other engines. But you're like, why is it a problem with the tender engines? Well... Look at his chassis. There's no turning mechanism on any part of it. So basically, it's either you make him go straight, or if there is a turn, you gotta basically turn him in a box-like figure way. Not in a regular way with Tom Swinton Railway, where you can just basically turn it to keep going. No. So, like, does that count to all the tender engines? Well, yeah, but with uh, James, that's less of a problem, and probably with Henry, because with James, he's shorter, but you're like, they can still turn, yeah, but it, it looks weird, but I'm not blaming them. Oh, I forgot to add, I like how you can feel the coal. But, anyway. Yeah, with James, that wouldn't be a big of a problem, because he's a little bit short. If I compare him to an engine like Thomas, he's just got it a little bit bigger on the back. So. My opinion. Do I think you should get these? Yes. 
And I need to show you one more thing. Another big problem. At flea markets, these two could be, or at antique stores, these two could be sold separately because the people running the antique store may not know what's going on. But if you tell them that these two belong together, they might not want to listen to you. So, that's another big problem. And actually, I think some came separately. Huh. Yeah. But, do I suggest these engines? Yes. If you want to keep them on display, that's fine. Because, you don't want an engine sticker ripping off. And if you want to use them, use them carefully and gently. Because, if you, like, get mad at it for some reason, I don't know why you get mad at it. But if you get mad at it for some reason, and you throw it to a wall, uh, a lot of things could break. Even the face. Oh yeah, I forgot, that's another problem. The face. If you throw it so many times somewhere, its face could, well, fall off. But, besides that, I think I would suggest this to people who want to collect want to use it for something, and go live your dream. If you want to do that, you go. Now, would I recommend this for children three and under? That's the big question. Well, I mean, I have big hands, so a toddler size hand would probably be like around here, maybe, with like a finger or something, I don't know. But, it's kind of a choking hazard. Like, why are you bringing up choking? Well, uh, I don't think it's for children three and under. Like, really, no. I'd rather trust a four or five year old with it. Not a flipping three-year-old who can literally go, eh, and destroy it. And you're like, why did I do that? You to told us not to do that. Well, if it's a, if it's a soft surface, may maybe you could do it. But I wouldn't really suggest that either. Because I don't know if it could break on carpet like that, but it probably could. If you did it with mass force. So, this is what I like. This is one of my favorite brands of merchandise out of Tom's Toys. And the fact that the kind of collectibles now is great. But you might be saying, well, there's other brands that are collectible. Why did you choose this one? Why not Pokemon? Oh, there's one hole in your argument. Even though it is collectible, it's still going on to this day. They're like Erdl is as well. But I don't but they don't really produce any any of these anymore. And Pokemon is still going on, so it's collectible. But it's not like this right here. So I think that this is a great product. It came out of Thomas Merchandise. So, I'll see you guys next time on Our Scissor Chats. And I am out.